guys welcome back to lady purity's kitchen so on today's video i'm going to be sharing my recipe with you guys on how i prepare local jollof rice and we call it red oil rice so guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't and then let's dive into today's video so guys here i have my red oil i'm going to be using dry fish yes there's no local rice without dry fish and that's my crayfish that's my salt chopped onion and the one i'm still going to cut later on and then i have my red bell pepper i have for more also known as cow skin and i have scent leaf guys this is my smoked fish and this is supposed to be my prawn and then the main one the rice <laughs> so let's go okay i'm going to start by boiling hot water to parboil my rice so while the rice is boiling i'm just going to start blending the crayfish and then the bell pepper with the habanero pepper and the onions together So guys, let's dive into the main process. So I'm going to bleach my oil a little bit, not until it turns to granite oil like we usually do. Then the next thing is to add my onion, my chopped onion, then allow it to fry a little bit before I'll add the puree, the things that I blended, which includes the bell pepper, the habanero pepper, and then my, my onions. okay guys so after about 10 minutes of frying the puree the onion and the bell pepper i'm just going to start adding the things right now the other ingredients so i'm going to add the crayfish i'm going to add the dry fish and then i'll go ahead and add the prawn <laughs> i know it's very small but i just have to add it so guys after doing that while i'm adding all these things i'm stirring to make sure everything is mixed so guys i'll go ahead to add the water and then after that guys i'm going to add other ingredients respectfully so you can watch me add each and every one of the ingredients that i have with me So guys at this point after adding everything i'm just going to add the amount of water that we used to cook the rice and then cover it for it to boil after like 10 minutes i'll open it up and then pour in the rice So guys because the scent leaf i have is a dry one i'm just gonna add it right away so that it's going to the scent will go into the rice into my food and give me the good aroma that i needed then i'm just going to stir turn everything together and then close it cover it and allow it to get done okay so guys at this point my rice is well cooked like it's done and the water is remaining just very little to get dried off, out um my local jollof rice is ready 
as you can see is already looking colorful guys i'm done look at that okay it's very tasty and yummy anyways i think i'm done with this recipe so do give this video a thumbs up and if you love what you just watched comment give me tell me what you think in the comment section okay and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because i will be sharing more amazing videos and recipes okay i know you'll be wondering where i get all the ingredients but come on guys i have I have to do this for me to help every one of you okay i promise to be sharing recipes and that is what i'm doing so thank you guys for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button see y'all in my next video bye <laughs>